been getting a lot of questions about layers recently in central control. What are layers? How do we use them? Why do we use them? Well, I kind of want to go over that in this video. So let's have a look at it. So what I have here is my vMix audio mixer. And what I want to do is I want to use layers so I can map the eight faders I have on my X-Touch twice. So the first layer, I want to have my eight inputs that are coming in here. And on the second layer, I want to have the levels for the buses. So it essentially allows us to use the same controls several times and they'll have a different function depending on what layer we're on. So let's look at how to set that up. So if I come into X-Touch and click device mapping, here's where I get to add my layers. So in this case, I only want to that simple. Great. The next bit is to select some controls on the device that we're actually going to use to switch between the layers. And this is, I think, where a lot of people get stuck. So I'm in this case, I'm going to use the forwards and rewind buttons. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark these as absolute. And this is really important for this because what that does is it means no matter what um, layer I'm on, these will always execute the commands that have been assigned on layer one. So this is important for switching layers because it means that when we're on layer two, those controls will still work and we'll be able to get back to layer one. But another use for this would be if you had, you know, the master fader on this desk, you would always want it to be mapped to the master and vmix presumably so actually let's we'll, we'll set that up as well here so we'll go to master, main fader and we'll set that as um absolute and then we'll actually we'll map it right now we'll set that to master layer we'll add that so yeah that's what mark absolute means now let me come in here so i'm gonna go back to this so my i've got i've got jumped control and so i can quickly find find my control so i'm going to come down here and i'm going to set the target to x touch and i'm going to set rewind to set layer one and then i'm going to come to this button <laughs> someone's messaging me and we'll set forward to be set layer two so now i have my buttons which i can use to switch between layers so now let's actually look at mapping some commands to our faders so i'm going to click device mapping again we'll come back in here and I am going to come to faders and the first thing we'll do is as I mentioned we're going to map the first eight audio channels coming into vmix so if I come here we'll go to vmix and we'll do set mixer level by index and I'm going to go so what my channels um first one is one which is the intensity then I actually just because of the way my vmix is set up I then jump to number four and then I'm just going to map all of these great and main fader as we saw earlier we have that so now if i start moving these i'll just grab the eighth one you'll see i have control of these as you would expect great but second layer so let's jump over to that so i can select that for mapping by clicking layer two and now i'm on that second layer so as i mentioned i want to set my bus level using these so i'm just going to so fader one bus A, uh, fader 2 can be bus B, fader 3, bus C, so on and so forth, E, F, G, great, I have one, one spare fader for something else at some point. So now this is mapped, I can jump between these layers, so as I mentioned my rewind button is layer 1, so as you can see I'm now on layer 1 and we're setting the uh, input channels coming into vmix and now if i go over to layer two that's g f e d as i switch between these layers no matter what i can still use my master fader because as we mentioned we mark this as absolute so even if i mapped a function to the master fader on layer two wouldn't do anything because the control is absolute as i actually switch between these layers it updates because we have motorized phase it actually knows and it updates the feedback state so if i now come to layer two and then i start you know moving this as i would expect it to be and then i come back over to this so i'm moving that it's in the right place great the other thing to note is that for devices and this is a sneak peek of the xtouch implementation uh, for devices that have feedback settings windows like this i have independent control per layer so on the xtouch you'll actually be able to set 
each layer you can have uh, labels on the the scribble strips on here so it will be, make it really easy to use this i hope this has been helpful if you have any other questions please don't hesitate to ask um, and i will make another video about it if you're watching this on youtube uh, i'd invite you to join us in our facebook user group link in the description and i'll see you there